that wonderful microphone is turned back on. Welcome everyone. Glad to have you all here. It's a happy Saturday, September the 30th of 2023. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you're watching Volcano X live stream. On the screen right now, we got uh, some archive footage, and uh, that is Rebbe in Iceland. And uh, uh, just I figured I'd uh, look at something different. I didn't want to uh, be staring at Hawaii for uh, ever. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get rid of the big banner there, and uh, we'll uh, move that out of the way. It's a little easier to see. All right. Um, Welcome everyone, glad to have you here. Rebbe was uh, a handsome uh, volcano. Yeah, you know, I um, actually purposely put Rebbe on here today for uh, actually kind of a different reason. <laughs> but uh, and we'll look at that in a few minutes. Uh, for right now, let's just say hello to everyone. We'll start out by saying hi to our moderators, Arizona Snowman and uh, Piggy. And, uh, of course, we've got Sue Hayes is in the, the channel already. Yvonne Kunkel and uh, CND Boy and Siggy and maybe uh, Gary 24-7 Live. He's at Skies, as well as other wonderful moderators that uh, may come and go. <laughs> uh, so, uh, welcome moderators. Appreciate all of you. Also, uh, welcome to every one of you who has joined today. Don't forget to hit that like button if you uh, like the show. And let's start out by saying hi to Mars 2028 and Hermian and Fluffy and Wonky Donkeyism. And, uh, or should I make everybody an ism today? Amelia. Hey, Amelia, how come the sad face? Don't have a sad face. We like to be, um, yeah, volcano, broken, broken hearted. We need to have a more new, fresh lava somewhere. Uh, welcome to uh, Henry Nelson as well, and Adele, uh, who is in Rhodes right now. And I don't know if Piggy is awake or not. She was on earlier over in the uh, bunny stream, and we were chatting, and uh, of course she was um, talking about getting uh, some more sleep and I'm hoping that's what she's doing um, just to throw in a quick note they did have a 4.1 uh, quake just to the north of uh, Kos and uh, that was I guess she definitely felt it <laughs> as uh, as per her um, saying there but uh, yeah, it was only about 15 kilometers away is uh, where the epicenter was. So um, definitely something to consider over there, but uh, she's likely sleeping now. Anyway, uh, we got Henry. Uh, Brian Perfectibility999 is also here. Uh, John Raper also on board. We got Adele. Um, Tanto, welcome back. And let's see. Uh, who else we got? Uh, we got Mars, we got Sue, yep, mm, wonky donkey we got. All right, I'm still scrolling up here looking for more names. And uh, let's see, who else has uh, snuck in there? Peter Greenlees, uh, welcome to you. And uh, Dan is on board. And uh, Metal Omi 54 also here. Sherry Hewitt is also on board, welcome. Glad to have you guys on, and uh, let's see, um, going up a little bit more, I see somebody just threw in uh, a 10-pack, it looks like, of uh, gift memberships, we'll get to those in a second, and uh, I'm all the way to the top, I don't see anyone else in there, let's go all the way down to the bottom, and uh, wow, um, Sharon Stewart gifted a 10-pack, that is awesome, Sharon. And thank you very kindly for that, uh, Sharon Stewart. Uh, there we go, gifted a 10-pack. Wow, excellent. Um, and let's see, who got some of those? Adele got uh, gifted. Hermian got gifted. Uh, awesome stuff. Uh, Shandell got one. Zach uh, got one. Let's see, uh, Brutal Avenger got one. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, John, Jason Slater and uh, Cy Hoskins, I'm not sure, not familiar with that one. 
but uh, awesome to see the uh, the gifting and uh, GG and Royale. Uh, congratulations to uh, those uh, good people, and uh, that is uh, pretty uh, pretty cool to see. And thank you very kindly, uh, Sharon Stewart, for gifting that. That is um, pretty awesome, and uh, that is uh, a good way to start the show. So thank you very kindly. Anyway, um, let's get at things, though. Let's uh, take a look around and uh, see what we got happening. We'll pause our wonderful canned lava for right now. Uh, we'll pop over to Hawaii first and see what we've got happening there at uh, our wonderful Kilauea slash Halamauma'u. And uh, not much. <laughs> uh, we've seen that smoker out there. Uh, the uh, events in the background, very uh, quiet. Nothing uh, new happening. The lava field uh, here in Halamauma'u looks about the same and uh, looks like it's uh, pretty much the same out there in that Kilauea portion as well so uh, not much uh, different uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, what we see in the uh, still shots i did take some earlier here but i'm going to refresh this anyway we'll see if um, we have uh, something newer there we go um yep that steamer over there still doing its thing central vent area lava pond still intact big hole still intact west vent yep nothing new there a little bit of steam coming from that side as well and still all that steam along the wall here uh, pretty cool pretty interesting let's go to the next shot this one of course from this morning um and uh, let's uh, refresh that and get uh, a newer one see what it looks like now there we go and again nothing coming from the vents there's the uh, steamer, and of course, over in Hilamaumau, our central vent, etc., doing its thing. That's a different angle. You can see steam coming out from all those uh, spots on the wall there. Pretty cool. All right, let's leave that one be. Uh, this was the thermal from earlier. Uh, I should uh, turn that uh, um, thing off there. There we go. And uh, we're going to refresh that before we even bother looking at it. There we go and uh yeah nothing really uh, changed uh looking at that thermal it's all pretty much the same everything is cooling down maybe a little cooler today than it was yesterday and uh, central area uh definitely not seeing uh, a heck of a lot there so all good let's leave that be and uh, we'll get over to our next uh, place of, of fun and frolicking and um, let's make that one smaller Actually, I'm going to put it back on that one so I can find it later. Quick peek at Iceland. It's already dark there. Oh, it's telling us winter is coming. Anyway, let's make that a little bit bigger. Um, there you can see the outline or silhouette of uh, Kaleer and uh, the uh, lights of uh, Reykjavik behind it. Let's uh, back up a little bit. They did have some rain in the evening here. You can see some spots on the camera, of course and um, I guess a rain on and off during the day as well. This is about six hours ago. Again, you can see Kaleer. There's our Rebby vent. Uh, still a little bit of uh, steam and smoke coming out of there. And I think that's just because of the heat and moisture, uh, some um, water being evaporated uh, since it was raining. And uh, going back a little bit more yet, and that's about nine hours ago, they did have some sprinkles back then so Yvonne didn't miss anything and going back about 12 hours ago there we go and that's about it so putting that back on live that's what we've got right now let's take a look at some of the other ones and uh, this of course is the scene at uh, where is this <laughs> that's a, a cat lap I think uh, let's uh, take a look no this is um, our uh, Thorbjorn my bad and uh, there's a Ragnar in the background, you can see it. Uh, we're up on Thorbjorn south of the Blue Lagoon and the power plant. And you can see the ocean off in the distance. And of course, this about six hours ago, seven hours ago, actually. And it was raining there. So, uh, And if we go back to about the 12-hour um, mark, or roughly thereabouts, uh, same thing. Uh, rain, rain, rain. And uh, not much we can do about it. 
let's uh, carry on and uh, let's uh, go back to live so that is the live shot right now from there and uh, let's go to our next i'm going to make that one smaller go to the next one and uh, this of course is supposed to be our uh, downtown there we are that is live that's from Reykjavik the uh, downtown core if we uh, back that up about uh, the uh, six hours or so that gets us uh, right to about here that wasn't that bad of a day there it didn't look like it was spitting too much and uh, this uh, shot of course from the Perlin Center uh, there in uh, Reykjavik it does look like there's some uh, droplets on the um, uh, Perlin Center uh, roof here so I uh, definitely had some moisture come down earlier anyway that's what we got going on let's uh, go make that one smaller we'll put it back on live first and uh, we'll uh, take a look at the next one as we uh, get things going and uh, that was from earlier in the day and now we got commercials hey I've uh, seen that guy before somewhere oh he's gone oh well I guess we don't see him anymore Anyway, uh, that is looking at Catlau over here, but um, not very visible. Uh, certainly not as well as it was yesterday. And um, I think, well, if we go back in time, uh, we can see a little bit of it. So uh, that is the ice mounds and glaciation that's on top of uh, Catlau. And let's see if we go back just a little bit more. Is it better or worse? Um, let's go there. No, that's worse and worse on the other side so we have the right spot <laughs> anyway um yeah we see it there but um not that much going on there quiet as usual so we'll put that back on live and we'll make that one smaller the other side of catlam is uh, this shot and i don't know how well we're going to see it uh this is going back oh why is that not going back uh, not there i wanted to see it i uh, swear I seen it earlier uh, uh, maybe uh, they hadn't refreshed the uh, the video okay um, yeah and just rain I think this is about as good as it's gonna get in there so um, yeah let's leave it as that put it back on live and make it smaller go to the last shot here and see if uh, that'll show up for us um and it looks like it's raining there right now looks like we got some water droplets on the camera uh, there you can see the uh, two towers and uh, that is a uh, grinovic's lights in uh, the foreground here there should be some uh, steaming vents and of course that is the uh, geothermal power plant let's unpack that up about six hours so we can see and um, yep there is a grinovic and there's our geyser and of course the uh, geothermal power plant hiding behind uh, the um, water droplets if we go back a little bit more yeah get rid of a few droplets but still looking pretty much the same uh, not able to see too far off in the distance here but the blue lagoon is over there and uh, this is uh, very close to the lighthouse here that road and uh, just uh, goes right past the driveway for the lighthouse just a few hundred uh, feet up the road here to the right all right let's uh, put that one back on live and um, that is what it looks like there right now and we'll uh, put that one back to little and we'll get over to the next uh, spot and that's having a look at the ODF chart and I'm liking the chart right now and um, there well you probably see why I'm liking the chart already and because of the amount of uh, activity that we're seeing here and um, this is always a good thing and um, when we see that that's uh, telling me something is on the move and of course uh, the ODF chart that's the one that is closest to our wonderful Fragon of Yelp and uh, we see an uptick in a magmatic and that's uh, still heading up from the looks of it and we see an uptick in seismicity and we see a lot of shaking going on with our tectonic that is usually a pretty good indicator that we got something going on underneath there 
let's uh, go to the next ones. The uh, next one will be uh, Krisovic, and uh, that should be right around here. And uh, there too, we see uptake in the magmatic, uptake in seismicity, and uptake in tectonic movement. And uh, that's um, it's a good sign so far for there. Uh, tells us we are seeing something moving in that specific area. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the one from, um, where is it? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, the uh, one a little further south on the edge of um, Franklin del Fiel, on the eastern side, we do see it too has uh, gone up all the way through here, same distance, and uh, seeing a little bit more action here as well. Uh, with uh, that uh, much thicker uh, tectonic movement line uh, indicating there is more movement. Uh, so I'm uh, very cool. Uh, going to our next one. Uh, let's see. Where are we here? Oh, I want to see a Grindavik. Grindavik, of course, same direction. Upward, upward, and upward. So um so far that area is cool now if it's just in that area it'll be good uh grimsey on the other hand not showing as much up um, uptick but a little bit and as far as uh, that goes for our magmatic and our seismicity nothing though for our uh, tectonic movement so whatever we got going on uh it's down on the southern end of uh the island uh, very interesting and uh, let's go up to Askia and see what the middle of the island is doing and uh, that might give us a pretty good idea well the middle is not reacting the same as the south uh, southwest corner uh, so or the same as the northeast corner so um, or north end I would then think that what we're seeing is likely some magma moving there and underneath the Rakens Peninsula and uh, some uh, pressure being applied so uh, that is in my opinion good news and um, we're hoping that we're going to see more of that on that ODF chart Whoop, I passed it and there it is and uh, that is a good sign so uh, up up and away fingers crossed Hey, didn't I say yesterday that uh, we're going to have an eruption today because Ivan Kunkel is gone two days from Iceland? <laughs> it would be just a, a, a laugh and a blast if we actually had an eruption today. I think uh, that would be really cool. Uh, anyway, let's leave that guy be. A quick peek at our um, wonderful... Uh, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, thanks, uh, Sue. Uh, we're going to take a look at the earthquakes really quickly and uh, see what we've got going on. So, um, we're way down in numbers. So, um, only 64 quakes in the last 24 hours. And uh, kind of interesting to see where a lot of them are. And I did have our plate boundary uh, red line here turned on just so we can see this being on the corner of where the plate boundary is uh, some extra pressure being exerted there let's take a look and see what we've got out here in the north end first uh, very quickly 0.6 9.4 kilometers down 1429 uh, 1.1 5.5 kilometers down 1532 uh, 1.38 10 kilometers down 1103 and then we've got a 1.3, a 6.2 kilometers down, 2019. And the other one is a 1.6, 1.4 kilometers down from F, F, uh, 2258. Is there another one underneath there? Yep, uh, that 1.3, 6.2 clicks down, 2019. I think we got that one. 0.6 we got, the 1.1, 1 .1, uh, 1 1.3 clicks down, 650. All right, got them all now, at least I hope. Uh, and a one in magnitude 5.3 kilometers down on 2106 there and then we move a little closer to the shore in the bay a 1.1 1 .1, nine kilometers down 1802 a point six 5.2 kilometers down at 313 
and uh, from 1858, a magnitude 1, uh, 7.6 kilometers down. Moving down a little bit more, a 0.4, 1.1 clicks down uh, from a 238, and then we got a 0 0.7, 8.5 kilometers down, a 546 this morning. Uh, over here, uh, east of um, uh, Askia, we see from a 1722, a 1.6, 23.1 kilometers down. And uh, right underneath, or very close to Askia, 0.3, 3 kilometers down, and a 1912 was that time. Now, thanks, Sue, for that two-minute warning. I got that. And at 1306, we had a 0.23 kilometers down there uh, underneath Aska. Uh, Bartabunga, only a small one today, a 0.3, uh, 2.1 clicks down, 1942. And over here in Grimswatten, we have a few, a 0.3, uh, 3.7 kilometers down from a 1042. A magnitude 1, uh, 2.8 kilometers down from a 1744, and a 0.4, 5 kilometers down from a uh, 720 this morning. Uh, let's see, anything further in the north? No. And uh, we are basically at break time, so what we'll do is we'll come back after the break, and we'll get uh, these guys here at uh, Katla, and Aya Fjalt Layokal, and uh, that uh, vicinity and then we'll move on over and to our wonderful Fragadel Fjell, which is in this area here. Well, we'll work our way there. Anyway, uh, time for a break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put this back on our canned lava and let that play for the duration of the break. And for all those good people who are here, if you have not yet hit that like button, Give it a quick bop. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. That'd be awesome. On that friendly note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Going to go take a break, and I will be back in five, six, or seven minutes. Keep smiling. Play nice in the lava, too. I'll be back.
and there we go that microphone is back on welcome or welcome back everyone i'm your host dr fox 2000 and you're watching volcano x live stream thank you for the welcome backs from mars 2028 and sue and john and alba girl and a Kananaskis country and where's my daddy i can hear him <laughs> uh, wonky donkeyism <laughs> welcome and thank you Atanto and I hear you Dr. Fox 2000 oh my voice is gone oh no it's wrecked oh no that was Sharon Stewart I hope her voice is okay and uh, <laughs> thank you Hermie and, and Fluffy I hope <clears throat> all right and that voice of mine is uh, not that good today I don't know about singing that. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm glad it is. And uh, uh, Mars, you asked an, an interesting question. Is Catla uh, and Hecla uh, kind of um, joined or are they together? Well, um, no, not really, but yes, they are. <clears throat> and uh, let me qualify that. <laughs> um, okay, we know that Iceland in itself is all sitting on the same plume. And uh, the, uh, as far as, uh, so technically, everything in Iceland is linked, no matter which uh, volcano you look at. But when we look at the individual systems, if you want to call them that, Hecla is its own system, whereas I have felt the Yokel is its own system, and Katla is its own system, as is Grimsvatn and Bartabunga. Even though they are relatively close together as well, they are two separate systems. Uh, at least that's how they classify them. Um, likely fed way down below by the same magma source, though, uh, because it is on that huge plume that we know that uh, they've done the 3D mapping of. So um, it's always interesting to uh, kind of see that. But yeah, everything works together, uh, but they are their individual systems, the uh, same as what we've got at uh, Fregora Fjall, it is its own system. Whereas uh, over uh, to the uh, Krisovic, to the east of it, is its own system as well. Although they can be uh, inter, uh, interrelated because again, it is coming from that same uh, source way further down. Uh, Daddy, can I have uh, some uh, pocket money for a few bricks? What are you needing bricks for, mister? I don't think you need any bricks there, Mr. Wonky Donkeyism. Um, every time we get you bricks, you end up in trouble. And um, we don't need that. And, uh, okay, so anyway, let's uh, get back over to the earthquakes. We want to finish those off, and that actually is kind of an interesting uh, adventure. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to move the wrong screen. Uh, that doesn't work. Let's try this one. Um, you know, uh, with what we've got. So, like, the whole thing is is all basically um, one huge, huge system together. But, uh, well, yeah, Wonky is building up to a no good. Yeah, he's uh, doing something there again. I don't know. He wants... Uh, I don't want to give him any uh, cash. Otherwise, he's going to go buy more tires and st or steal more uh, tires. Uh, we know what he's up to. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing with all the tires, though. Anyway, um, hey, Wonky, why don't you sell some of those tires that you've got stockpiled there? Um... Uh, <laughs> No, no, there's no bricks. There's weights. Weights. I'm using weights. They're no good for keeping the car up in the air. Anyway, uh, 1.8, uh, 5.2 kilometers down, 1832, out in the water. Uh, so let's take a look now at what we've got. So here's the uh, 
Well, we'll uh, get the one in the IF Fjallt Lyokal system first. Only a point six, six kilometers down, uh, 1505 is the time on that. Now this one on uh, just the outskirts here, not sure who this belongs to, 0.9, 4.3 click sound, 1734, uh, 2.6, uh, 5.2 clicks down at 1742, uh, 0.9, uh, 5.6 clicks down from uh, 19 uh, minutes after 1800 or 6 p.m. Uh, 1431, we had a magnitude 1, 5.2 kilometers down. And from 10.24 a.m., uh, magnitude 1.1, uh, 5.9 clicks down. Now, Catla stuff. We got this one, 1.6, uh, 1.1 1 .1 kilometer down, and that is uh, 4 a.m. Uh, then we got these three here, uh, 1.48, 135 meters down, uh, one, uh, 25 minutes after midnight. The other one is a 1.2. And that is at 8.04 a.m., 5.2 clicks down and a 0.8. Same depth from 15.55. Uh, looking at the stuff that's a little closer to home plate, uh, we got a 0, 5.9 clicks down from 2.35 this morning. And I'm going to zoom in to split those up a little more. 1.3, 1 1.1 1 .1 kilometer down from 1.18. Uh, 2.27, uh, 42 meters down, likely ice movement, and uh, that's from a 118. Uh, this one from 629, a 0.2, 5.2 clicks down, uh, 0.9, 135 meters down, likely ice movement as well, 120 this morning, and uh, this one was from a 1445, a 1.72, 135 meters down. I hear Piggy's getting better and need to improve my armor. Um, you've got a little while to wait yet for Piggy to be back to a normal. And welcome, Thor. Good to see you. And uh, let's see, the 1.85 is 135 meters down as well. 1433, of uh, 43, I mean. And then we've got this guy, a 1, uh, sorry, a 9.95. Uh, 859 meters down, uh, likely um, well below the uh, ice level. Uh, that's uh, quite a distance. Uh, so, uh, 1505 for that one. And the last one over there at Catla area, 2.1, uh, 5.2 uh, clicks down from a 349. Uh, we got, yeah, we got that guy there. Got all those. Uh, let's move on. Nothing directly in Hecla, and then we see this one, 0.95, 8.9 kilometers down, 12 minutes after midnight, and we got a little bit of a swarming group out here, and we got a 0.6 down on the bottom, and that's 1.3 clicks down, 6.55 this morning, and a 0.3, 5.2 clicks down, 1900, uh, 0.95, 6.7 kilometers down uh, from uh, 1242, uh, 1 1.5, 7.2 kilometers down from 1128, uh, 0.6, 4.2 kilometers down from uh, yesterday, 2304, and a 0.9, 5.5 kilometers down from 1107, uh, 1 1.3, 4.4 clicks down from 1817 and uh, from 1816 a uh, 1.2 4.8 kilometers down and moving uh, closer to our peninsula there we go uh, seeing some of the wonderful quakes here is always nice uh, 0 0.2 uh, 5.4 kilometers down in yesterday's uh, 2305 and this one from uh, 1035 this morning a uh, 0.65 uh, 5.4 kilometers down uh, 0 0.7, uh, 5.4 kilometers down as well at 18.03. And uh, then we got that little 0.2, 5.4 clicks down, 23.05. We got this one, 2.40 a.m., 0.84, uh, 4.9 kilometers down. Now we're getting a little closer to where we want to be. And we've got this one here, a 0 0.48, 4.3 uh, kilometers down, a uh, 4.41 uh, this morning. A uh, 1.16, and that is 4.2 kilometers down, 
from 11 a 20 and a 1.03 4.4 kilometers down from a 4 a 48 now uh, there's our franco Felt area let's see what we've got it's again k lear's uh, the busy uh, place here and that is a 1.3 4.8 clicks down from a 15 a 12 a 2.2 also the same time and a 4.8 kilometers down a next one is from a 1509 a 1.48 a 4.8 .8 kilometers down and a 1.12 from a 4.5 kilometers down 1507 and let's see and what else we got here's our location of our Rebbe and this is a Siggy Fisher and that's Ragnar and then we got this guy here a 0.89 10.1 clicks down 645 and a 1.26 11 kilometers down from a 1453 and we go over here we don't see anything there uh, at um, our wonderful uh, uh, Thorbjorn or over here at uh, the uh, Blue Lagoon or Grindavik and then we only see this uh, small point one out here on the uh, tip of the peninsula six kilometers down from a 1218 and way out uh, 1.3 8.1 kilometers down 23 uh, 14 yesterday so uh there we go um wonky donkey once survived a nuclear detonation and he as uh he's uh, scared of uh, getting hit by a shopping cart uh things that make you go hmm you know you do have a point there uh, the ninja bacon speed uh, training yeah seed of training um yeah you know uh, <laughs> mars there's always always some uh, peculiar things that uh, that bother people um you know he's okay with uh, flying around uh different planets uh, we're on a rocket strapped to a rocket with duct tape but he seems to have a problem with uh with a harmless little piggy <laughs> oh wait hang on piggy's not so harmless uh, a heavy a shopping cart in the Achilles a tenon would cause a serious damage you bet <laughs> uh, that certainly would um, but she's not here today and we don't have to worry about the shopping carts let's I'll leave that be and uh, that is our uh, earthquakes up there in Iceland I'm hoping that we're going to see some more action. Uh, the uh, stuff here, again, you know, I have to point out this is a pressure point uh, because of the directionality of our plates joining here, or sorry, moving apart. And uh, they are moving, you know, Iceland, the, uh, the plates here are technically moving apart a centimeter a year. So um, I don't know, um, you know, if that's a, a heavy pressure point or, or what it is but um, we could see uh, magma intruding underneath there and uh, what uh, wonky donkey says I'm an innocent donkey innocent of what wonky donkey <laughs> all right let's leave our earthquakes in Iceland be let's go over to the next place of fun and a joy and that is this cloudy place oh no that's not that cloudy place i went to the wrong cloudy place <laughs> oh boy it happens uh, they all look the same when they're all cloudy let's uh, go to this one and there we go and uh, now this cloudy place is uh, called popo cafe pedal and uh, on occasion you can even see it um and there we're going back five hours and 20 minutes ago just to get a glimpse of, of what's happening there and uh, going back it's a volcano a gray a day yep we do see popo cathy pedal uh, throwing out some gases 809 a.m and uh, popo cathy pedal is about 70 kilometers south uh, southeast of mexico city and that is what we were seeing this morning uh, it definitely hasn't quit that's for sure uh, earlier in the uh, morning 6 11 a.m we've seen um, not quite as heavy of plumes coming out 
and I was checking back at the uh, nighttime stuff here and we see how well it's lit up. We know there's a lot of moonlight out, but there is also lava in that caldera. So that's why this bottom is so bright down here. And uh, I thought, well, it's kind of neat to see that. And uh, prior to that, we were covered up and unable to see it. And uh, that goes all the way back to the rest of the day for it. So uh, that is what we've got happening at Popo Cate Petal in Central Mexico. Let's get to our next one. And I don't know if they've turned the cameras back on. They had a bad weather there. And uh, no, we don't have anything from Fuego in Guatemala, unfortunately, uh, due to uh, the uh, inclement weather. And they just don't have the cams on. And uh, this one here is a Messiah Volcano in Nicaragua. And this was from 12.06 uh, p.m. today, their time. Uh, we can uh, just refresh it and see if it's any different. Not a lot different. We are still seeing uh, that heat plume come out of there and the, the gray material in the air. So we know it is busy doing its thing. Let's uh, take a look and see if we see anything further south. And that is, oh, I guess it's still trying to load. I've uh, tried to reload that a few times. I'm going to do that again, see if uh, they'll bring us a picture eventually. And uh, let's go to our next one. Uh, so we'll get back to Recon de la Vieja uh, after we take a look here. But I wanted to point this out. I did load this up earlier. We are seeing some uh, good off-gassing coming out of... Um, uh, Lascar. So Lascar is increased its um, gas output, or at least we are able to see it a little bit more visible. The wind is still blowing it uh, fairly hard, but it is uh, good to see that uh, we've got a little bit more action. And next one is, of course, uh, this is Laguna del Mole, and uh, you can see that wonderful snow and stuff and that is interesting and we'll just leave it be though no um, eruptive activity and this is our via rica and i'm going to redo these and we're going to take a look at uh, what via rica is doing now but that is a pretty impressive uh, shot that was what it was doing earlier here and uh, definitely puffing out some uh, bad ash and uh, stuff from uh, just after uh, 2 p.m their time so I'm not sure uh, what, um, well, well, we'll redo that and uh, see, but um, looks pretty awesome. I bet you if it was nighttime, we'd see some uh, lava spatter in there, but let's uh, refresh these and see if uh, they've got something new on that one and see. Uh, thanks, Tom, for the uh, five-minute warning, and uh, that'll be okay, and let's see what we got. All right. Uh, eruptive activity let's see this is a little bit better so um, and you can see that white snow is not so white anymore up top there on the hill uh, they've been getting a fair amount of that uh, lava coming out of there and that is kind of cool um, we are still seeing that uh, puffing of the uh, darker material here so uh, definitely uh, erupting a volcano that is a via rica uh, there in uh, um, down in chile and uh, let's see uh, what our other one is there we go we reloaded and there is recon de la vieja in costa rica in the jungle oh uh, great thank you uh, for a reloading let's see if it'll reload again a uh, pepper is a uh, chilling uh, laying uh, on the uh, front of grass. Oh, the a grass dog. Awesome. Anyway, uh, let's uh, put that over here. Let's uh, take a quick peek at our next one. And uh, we are going to take a look at... Um, where is it? It's uh, called um, Merapi. I have it here somewhere. <laughs> I know, it's uh, sometimes not so easy. Anyway, uh, looking at uh, what we're seeing today uh, there at Merapi, 3.56 a.m. And uh, that is live. You can see the lava coming down the hill. 
Uh, nice to see that. And uh, that is uh, pretty awesome on the uh, smaller cam shots here. And we can see that lava flow coming down that side vent. So uh, very, very cool. And uh, it did spread out fairly well in here, uh, going uh, fanning out from uh, that side. So definitely some uh, wonderful bacon. And we can see it uh, pluming a little bit more up top here giving us likely some more uh, lava flow. Let's see what happens in the next uh, few seconds here. And uh, if we uh, see any more uh, flow coming down the hill in that smaller ravine, and it does appear that we are seeing some lava flowing down there. So nice to see the bacon, and uh, that is uh, good. I just wish it was in color. <laughs> uh, that would be a lot better, uh, but um, we are definitely able to see that uh, in the uh, top left uh, cam uh, that is uh, spreading out down that ravine really, really nicely. So uh, it's 83 out. Uh, she is in the shade. It's 83. Oh, send me a couple of degrees, will you, Tom? I, I need to warm up a little bit. And uh, yeah, uh, we can... Uh, just uh, three degrees. Uh, you can make it 80, that'll uh, bring us up to about seven <laughs> Celsius. Anyway, uh, looking pretty awesome and uh, lots of uh, bacon flow. You can see the um, seismicity here indicated uh, is uh, very active right now. And uh, that is uh, pretty cool. And uh, I'm uh, just trying to go uh, back here and see if we had the other cameras. They had some cloud work in there earlier so it was hard to see what was going on um, let's see uh, if we go here and uh, that might be uh, good I don't know yet we'll take a look um, yeah not so good uh, we can see in the long range shot here that's not bad uh, from there this one though seeing a lot more of that cloud and uh, prior to that, I think uh, they had it like this. Again, we weren't able to see anything on the other uh, cameras. So, uh, not so good. And uh, I think the rest is uh, pretty much it. Um, clouds all the way through, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we'll put it back on live right now. There it is. So, uh, we know there is some decent lava flow coming down out of Merapi. Uh, is Merapi making us happy? Well, kind of, I guess, for the most part. So it's definitely doing its thing. Let's uh, go over to our next one. And uh, that is our wonderful Mount Ruapehu, which, again, we cannot see. Uh, they uh, still are suffer from clouditis, unfortunately. Uh, so we're not going to spend any time uh, there hunting for it. That's uh, no good. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, next one. Uh, this will be a uh, Tao Po. And of course, a uh, Tao Po is in uh, New Zealand as well. Um, yep, you've got a busy flea market today. Wow, uh, that is awesome. And uh, apparently there are artesian fleas there. You can get high quality fleas and uh, they're already pre-trained. Anyway, uh, looking in here, Tao Po of course is a huge volcano the caldera is the entirety of the lake and you can see a hill in the back here or a mountain uh, behind that even taller is where Ruapehu is uh, so a Mount Ruapehu not visible because of the clouds it does look like it's a windy day there we see the uh, flags uh, flopping in the breeze and uh, yeah busy day for uh, you know, get your fleas. Uh, you want to get your fleas. And I'm still trying to figure out how come these guys are all driving on the wrong side of the road. And that just, uh, just blows me away. Anyway, no, never mind. Um, all right, uh, fleas are flying. Yep. Yeah, you got to make sure you keep them out of the wind. Uh, otherwise, they'll, uh, they'll end up flying away. You don't want that. Uh, fleas, well... Uh, I wonder if they have a, a flea circus as entertainment. Well, um, hmm, I wonder if they do. I uh, hope it's in a glass a box of some sort. 
so they don't get any wind blowing in there. Uh, that'll, I give them a hard time, especially on the trapeze. Okay, uh, let's see and uh, what we I uh, got um, elsewhere. Uh, make uh, that smaller, and uh, I think we're going back to our canned lava. It is time for a break, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'm going to go uh, do that. So uh, we'll turn that back on. There we go. For those good people who are here, if you have not yet hit that like button, give it a quick bump. That'd be awesome. Also, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing if you feel we've earned it. On that friendly note, I'm going to go take a break. After the break, of course, we will have bacon seeds. So I keep a smiling. Tom, I once chased a chihuahua, I chased a city bus. Oh, I saw a chihuahua chasing a sitting bus. Well, wow. was he trying to catch up to it? He missed his ride. Mars, and uh, did it bring uh, did it bring it home? <laughs> oh boy, and that's funny. Uh, if the Chihuahua brings the bus home, yeah, you got a problem. All right, I'm gonna go take that break. I'll be back. Keep smiling and play nice in the lava.
we go that microphone is back on welcome or welcome back everyone I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 you're watching Volcano X live stream and uh, yep we got old uh, Rebbe event showing there in Iceland uh, archive footage from oh what was it uh, the uh, 29th of uh, July this year so pretty cool thank you for the welcome backs from uh, John and Mars and Alba girl and Sue and Tanto and Kevin and Hermie and, and Fluffy <laughs> and I think we got everybody up for now um, all good it is time for bacon seeds so let's go over and do those since uh, I did uh, mention bacon seeds thank you King Cullen and uh, let's go uh, down here and see what Piggy sent us today uh, she did send us a bunch so um, there's a Piggy sending I see her I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. Save the voice because I'm putting more type down here and you have to sing it. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, first bacon seed for today. Not sure, but I have got a sneaky hunch we might have seen that one before. Um, he's all uh, dressed up, getting ready to get on his hog. Get it? Never mind. Oh, boy. Oh, good. A uh, fresh bacon seeds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right? Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, doing a slumber with a smile I think we've seen him before but a nice a tie-dye shirt up there buddy and uh, that is awesome I gotta love it I'm uh, not sure what the heck is that uh, <laughs> I can't tell what that emoji is a Sue um, it looks funny uh, I don't know what it is it won't tell me <laughs> okay Next one is uh, this one, and it looks like he's got like blue around his collar. I think it might be a male. Uh, a hog? Oh, oh yeah, okay, now I can see it. It's uh, That looks more like a crotch rocket now that I look at it, but all right, a hog. <laughs> Maybe he's got a crotch rocket instead. Uh, motorized a hog. There we go. Uh, anyway, uh, here's uh, somebody who's having some um, munchies. Nice day out and about in the field and chomping on some watermelon. Uh, yep, a fresh corn. Ooh, and bacon seeds. <laughs> yeah. Once I get to the uh, next one, and uh, I think we might have seen him before too. Strawberry munching. Uh, keeping a good close eye on those strawberries and uh, Pasque pas okay and here's uh, some uh, apple munchers uh, all that work they have to load the apples in that uh, wheelbarrow uh, that is going to be interesting I think they're sizing it up for action here uh, pretty awesome and uh, maybe they're thinking if we eat a couple we'll have enough room for everybody uh, okay he's uh, hogging all the apples yeah I think they both are uh, fruity pigs let's see uh, well uh, this one is off to uh, do uh, no good things I think out and about we'll see what happens and uh, let's uh, go grab the next one and uh, these uh, four are squeezed together trying to all be they're photobombing is what they're doing uh, they're trying to photobomb the uh, the the photographer they were actually trying to take a picture of something else in the background yeah <laughs> anyway that looks pretty good on um, the uh, four squishy pigs <laughs> and let's get uh, to our last bacon seed for today and uh, that is this one and this one I think needs a hogwash he's uh, got a close-up of view there we can see he's got dirt on his snout and we need him to get a hogwash for sure no not camera shy <laughs> he's about to go eat the camera 
Uh, does the camera taste good? Uh, anyway, let's uh, see. We got a couple other, um, well, we uh, labeled them funnies, but I don't think they're that funny. And uh, let's uh, take a look and see what it says. Uh, someday we will look back at this moment and will never, uh, what? Will uh, forever uh, remind us uh, to uh, never take the little things uh, for granted. Oh, okay, uh, some uh, coffee cups. All right, uh, don't take it for granted. All right, and uh, the uh, next one is uh, this one. And uh, Piggy sent that in, so I figured I'd show him. Um, strong a woman never give up. Uh, we might need a coffee or a cry or a day in bed, but we always come back stronger. And uh, if a Piggy is using that as her motto, uh, definitely um, keep going, Piggy. Uh, that is awesome. All right, let's uh, leave it on the uh, last bacon seed so I know where it's at. And we'll get to our next uh, volcano and see what we got going on there. So all uh, good. So uh, Piggy sent some uh, nice stuff in. Uh, thank you very kindly, Piggy. We appreciate um, you are sending those wonderful uh, bacon seeds in. Let's uh, put this uh, one back to live. I was looking at it earlier trying to see if there was anything erupting. I didn't see anything popping out. Uh, there you can see the uh, moonlit night. This is uh, uh, Semeru and that is East Java Island in Indonesia. And uh, just uh, trying to see if there was any eruptive activity on top of that volcano. And with all the uh, moonlight, this, in this case, it's hard to tell. If we go back a little bit further, we do see some uh, lower level clouds or fog. And uh, what may possibly be some eruptive activity up top here. If we go back a little further, that cloud was worse. So not so good. Hang on for a second. Okay, I thought I was going to sneeze, but you know, um, when you look away from everything and uh, then all of a sudden it doesn't want to come out anymore. Uh, we did see a few more plumes earlier, and uh, that was uh, here. I'm uh, not sure this, uh, I guess uh, the bugs are flying around. But uh, yeah, this uh, plume uh, looking uh, pretty awesome. And these bugs are really leaving a tracer as they go by. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we go back just a tad bit further we can see uh, there was uh, some eruptive activity uh, there at uh, 2243 and uh, I don't think there was any lava popping out when uh, that happened. Uh, let's uh, just back it up a little bit and see if uh, there was any glow and uh, oh yeah there is just a little bit. So if we go back far enough uh, right around uh, here yeah, so from here on in, we see a little bit of glow happening and uh, then a little bit of a plume. Uh, unfortunately, they're not zoomed in. They should be a little bit closer so we can see a little bit more, but I guess they want to see the uh, ravine out in the front here too. Uh, anyway, that is what we've seen there. Little bits of lava up in the caldera and some uh, darkish pluming. Uh, interesting and uh, not a heck of a lot of activity they did have a cloud in between again and if we go back a little bit more we find another one of those uh, puff spots where it uh, had uh, thrown some uh, material out and again uh, trying to find where it originated from is kind of tough here because it's such a far distance away um, let's see if we yeah, it should be right around here somewhere. Right in here, we should be able to see that. Yeah, there's that puff. We didn't see any lava popping up, though. So, um, yeah, we'll leave that one be. And uh, going back further in time, I'm not sure if we've seen anything else. That was fairly dark there. That's at 1813. Uh, and I'm surprised it's actually darker at a... Um, 1813 that's uh, 6 or 614 in the evening whatever uh, then it is uh, during uh, the uh, middle of the night with the uh, full moon but uh, we do see it off gassing there so 
that's kind of what we've got going on putting it back on live and uh, there's the moonlight lighting it up and uh, that is pretty awesome let's uh, make that one smaller go on to our next volcano and uh, that should be may on i don't know if he's uh, streaming tonight or not uh streamed uh, six hours ago and uh, that is not uh, the volcano <laughs> all right let's uh, take a look over at um to all meditation see if there's anything uh, new there and uh, nothing there either uh, from our wonderful to all volcano uh, I'm not sure if uh, Madam Roots had anything new up. I didn't check earlier, but uh, we're going to carry on to our next uh, volcanoes and uh, go from there. I uh, was trying to see if there was anything happening at uh, uh, Shivalish and um, really can't see anything too much cloud there. And the same goes for a uh, cloud at our um, wonderful uh, Shisheldon and uh you know basic a volcano ray right so uh, that is what we got and there's the other one for uh chivalish and uh, not seeing it unfortunately so let's leave that be and uh, we will get over to our next shot and uh, that will be our uh wonderful old faithful maybe if we see it let's see what we got I uh, need to move that a little bit. Uh, well, that's uh, pretty close. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is Yellowstone National Park. We are seeing some of the geysers. And uh, there's a few people wandering around. You can see the occasional body. And uh, that is what we've got going on there right now. So not a heck of a lot. It's a calm a fall day. And, of course... Uh, not so many visitors as uh, like in the summertime so pretty cool and uh, there you go yellowstone national park and uh, they will uh, leave it as that um all uh, all good let's uh, get over i'm just checking time let's get over to our next one and that will be uh, in uh, japan and uh, unfortunately uh, we just missed the ice cream boat uh, he's uh, taken off. I see him. Or is he coming? I uh, don't know. It looks like he's taken off. I can't tell. I think... Yeah. Is he uh, coming? Maybe he's coming in. He's uh, right there. Uh, no, I think he's leaving. Darn it! Five minute warning! I hate when I get five minute warnings. <laughs> it's okay, actually, I don't mind that. I appreciate the uh, five minute warnings. Yeah, our ice cream boat, we're late. He's uh, taken off. Anyway, it's not about the ice cream boat. It's about the uh, Sakurajima, the volcano. And uh, that's what we're seeing right now. Unfortunately, nothing uh, too uh, glorious happening. We can see some uh, poor visibility right now really is what we're seeing and um, cloud and stuff like that or uh, lots of uh, gassing and uh, not seeing any glow in that shot uh, the weather didn't look all that great either uh, there we definitely see some lava glow that is awesome and of course uh, throwing out all kinds of uh, gases and, and other uh, Bad stuff, uh, not good to breathe, uh, going back a little bit more, even in that moonlight we are seeing it glowing, so that is a good sign, tells us uh, we've got some hot uh, fresh lava sitting on top of that uh, caldera floor, and uh, this one of course a little too much uh, smoke, unable to see anything, uh, going back to just about midnight again, the same uh, deal, not able to see anything. And I'll go back a little bit more there. We see more of a glow again at 2214 in the evening. So, uh, mind you, it was also clear weather. And let's see if we go back a little bit more. Yep, uh, kind of the same. A little bit of a glow there. So, uh, that's a 2109 or 909 p.m. their time yesterday for them, today for us. And uh, that's it for there. No sense in looking at the close-up shot. We won't be able to see anything. And um, the next one here is called ASO. 
Uh, ASO is in the clouds. I'm not going to see it today, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, it's way too cloudy. It's over there somewhere. <laughs> Let's leave that be. Go to the next one, and that is Asama. Asama, about 100 kilometers to the west of uh, Tokyo. And I think we're suffering from the same uh, system and that we've got uh, further south. And, uh, yep, uh, just not able to see much of anything uh, there, unfortunately. So I uh, will leave it as that and uh, not worry about what we uh, get there for right now. I uh, will check back in on uh, spotting another ice cream boat to make sure everybody gets their ice cream today. We'll leave the other ones all uh, smaller. And uh, we'll uh, go back over here to uh, that canned lava. It is uh, just about break time once again. So I am going to go take that break. Uh, for uh, those good people who are here, if you have not yet hit that like button, give it a quick pop. That'd be awesome of you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. That'd be really coo cool. I'm cooking, what, uh, trying to cook a salmon. My apologies if I explode uh, the uh, known uh, universe. Um, okay, Henry. Uh, the known universe? I, I don't know which one you're talking about. <laughs> uh, it's an art, Henry. A, a sear and a, then a slow heat works for me. Yep, you sear the outside, uh, seal the edges, and that way the juices stay in, and then you can, uh, so uh, hot, hot a pan first, flip it a couple times once you seared it and then a slow cook uh, I was a uh, cooking a uh, butter a uh, chicken it's delicious butter chicken huh okay ah oh, uh, I'm I did have lunch I'm not hungry <laughs> anyway uh, for those good people who are here yep uh, Schrodinger's <laughs> Sabbath uh, I hope uh, I hope it's a stop flopping a while back there. Uh, I will be up in uh, 30 minutes for dinner, Henry. Awesome. Okay, um, now let's see. What else uh, can I throw in here uh, real quick? I did do bunny duty today, and I cleaned up and moved the dome over a little bit, and uh, replenished uh, the uh, the bunny food, and it looks a little better down there. I don't know if you needed to know that, but uh, I'm sure the bunnies will be happy. On that friendly note, I'm going to go take a break, ladies and gentlemen, for those good people who are here. If you haven't yet bought that like button, give it a quick bop. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Help us grow. On that friendly uh, word, I'm going to go take that break. I'm trying to read a curry dish. I don't know about curry a fish, but... Um, Yep, uh, you are the ideal bunny host, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Okay, I'm going for the break. I'll be back.
and there we go I've got the microphone back on welcome or welcome back everyone buffalo chicken is okay I prefer a Thai or Szechuan flavor uh, thank you for the welcome backs from Achanto and Sue and uh, Kevin Haynes and Alba Girl and John Raper and King Colin uh, I understand the Henry and my dad likes that uh, the guy who grew up in the Midwest uh, Germany a family eating lots of uh, beef my mom uh, grew up in the ocean loving uh, seafood so I love uh, beef and potatoes and seafood oh yeah sure I like smoked eel <laughs> Uh, but I'm um, getting back to this. I've uh, been uh, seeing all the chat here about buffalo chickens. I have yet to even see a winged buffalo anywhere. Um, you know, and do these buffalo chickens have like beaks or do they uh, still have their snouts? Um, I'm sorry, I'm just a little uh, vague on that. Uh, but anyway, never mind. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get to our volcano report for today and uh, see what we've got going on and um, it's another one of these uh, big reports we'll get at it so uh, let's start out with uh, Friday's late volcanic activity five volcanoes uh, thanks Mars uh, said Henry uh, just uh, solved the mystery of the Big Bang with his uh, high uh, uh, groundbreaking uh, paper on explode, uh, exploding salmon uh, universe it's a uh, time to contact uh, contact the Nobel Prize committee well eh, that'd be all uh, good uh, oh doc they are as plentiful as a Bigfoot oh well I'm gonna have to uh, start looking in some other places then Tom and uh, all right um, Henry are you ready to receive your Nobel Prize uh, that'll be uh, pretty awesome anyway five volcanoes for uh, late uh, Friday's activity Nevado del Ruz in Colombia possible volcanic ash emissions to 20,000 feet 6100 meters reported at 2100 and then we got uh, Mayon Luzon Island in the Philippines eruption to 10,000 feet 3,000 meters reported at 2215. San in Ecuador, possible volcanic ash emissions to 20,000 feet, 6,100 meters reported at 2215. And we got uh, Reventador in Ecuador, possible volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet, 6,400 meters, uh, sorry, 4,600 meters at uh, 2245. Then at Dekono, Halamahera Island, Indonesia, continues on volcanic ash emissions to 7,000 feet, 2,100 meters, reported at 2315. And uh, yes, a smoked salmon is tasty as uh, is a smoked venison, but I don't know how to make it in a smoker, uh, Henry, in a smoker. <laughs> Oh, I know, that's a very, uh, uh, never mind, uh, it's a very astute of me to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. uh, Saturday's volcanic activity, 11 uh, volcanoes. Ibu and Helamahera Island, Indonesia, separate report from 3.32 a.m. this morning. We'll get to that. Uh, Popocate Petal, Central Mexico. Then we also have a uh, separate report for that one from uh, 3 27 a.m. And uh, apparently, it had volcanic ash and gas emissions seen in satellite uh, to 19,000 feet, 1500 meters, reported at 10 30 a.m. Nevada del Ruz in uh, Colombia of uh, Vona report and uh, volcanic ash confirmed in satellite uh, to 21,000 feet, uh, 6400 meters reported at 345. A new volcanic ash observed to 22,000 feet, 6,700 meters, reported at 1145. Samancaya in Peru, a sporadic a strong emissions to 23,000 feet, 7,000 meters, reported at 530 this morning, then continuous emissions to 24,000 feet, 7,300 meters, reported at 1730. 
Dakona, uh, Dokono, uh, Halamahera Island, Indonesia. Continuous volcanic ash to uh, 7,000 feet, 2,100 meters, reported at uh, 50, uh, sorry, uh, 5.30 this morning and at 17.30. Uh, Suba no Sejima in Japan erupted to uh, 6,000 feet, 1,800 uh, meters, reported at uh, 7 uh, uh, a.m. Uh, volcanic ash emissions continue to 7,000 meters, uh, sorry, 7,000 feet, 2,100 meters, uh, reported at uh, 1815. Uh, San Gay in Ecuador, volcanic ash uh, seen in a satellite to uh, 21,000 feet, 6,400 meters, reported at 10 a.m. Via Rica, central Chile, intermittent uh, faint emissions reported at 1230. Uh, Samaru, East Java, Indonesia, and that is vulc- uh, what discrete uh, volcanic ash to 15,000 feet, reported at uh, 1230. And Fuego in Guatemala, a new uh, volcanic ash observed to 15,000 feet, uh, 4,600 meters, reported at 1230. Then uh, Mayon and Luzon Island in uh, the Philippines, eruption, volcanic ash, and cloud, unknown height, reported at 1330. And uh, that's it for our wonderful uh, volcano report. We do have uh, those uh, separate ones. There's uh, two separate reports we'll look at, and uh, we'll get a quick uh, peek at those. Give me a second to get on uh, the right uh, screen. And uh, where are we here? Let's uh, make uh, that one small and go over here and click on uh, that button. Ah, there we go. Ibu, Halamahera Island, Indonesia, near cons- uh, constant eruption uh, persists. And uh, there you go. Uh, you can see that wonderful billowing uh, cloud come out of there. That is awesome, and uh, that is on the 25th of uh, September is when that uh, shot was taken at 7.25 a.m., or sorry, at 7.14 a.m., according to uh, the camera up here. I was looking at this one uh, down here, but uh, pretty cool, and uh, I guess they uh, could have uh, got the uh, times a little closer, but hey, it is what it is. I like that with all palm trees. Look at that. There's some palm trees here. I want some. I want some palm trees. Okay. Um, <laughs> next uh, shot is uh, what? Uh, this is at nighttime at uh, 22 uh, 28. And you can see it definitely had more of a plume happening there. And uh, that is uh, pretty cool. And uh, they got the time wrong on that one as well. And uh, that is interesting. Uh, I guess uh, that is what we get. Uh, so, yeah, some uh, interesting stuff there. The uh, effusive explosive activity at the volcano continues. Near frequent uh, volcanian sized eruptions take a place from the cinder cone within the summit crater. Uh, PBMBG uh, uh, Observatory's uh, surveillance camera observed uh, several eruptions on uh, the 25th and on the 28th, and uh, that was a gray ash rich uh, plumes uh, rose to an altitude uh, ranging between 21,000 uh, or sorry, 2100 and 2800 meters and drifted uh, northeast. Uh, the uh, seismic, uh, sm- seismic network reported signals with a maximum amplitude of 28 millimeters and uh, a duration of 96, 50, and uh, 63 seconds. Uh, so uh, interesting to uh, see that. And um, yeah, that third picture was actually from the 28th. The other two were from the uh, 25th. So. And uh, that's what we got going on there. Let's see the uh, report from Popo Cathy Petal. And uh, there it is. And that is our wonderful Popo Cathy Petal eruption uh, on the uh, 27th of, uh, that's in a couple of days ago. So um, that's why we didn't see it. <laughs> that was uh, on the 27th. Nice shot. I like that. And uh, that was at 8.25 a.m. Pretty cool. And next one here, uh, the uh, volcanic uh, tremor at the volcano over the past two weeks. 
and we can see that it's gone back down to low and uh, we see on the 17th of September it was way high and, and now we're just about nothing uh, the 22nd we had a minimal activity as well we should see some more activity happening soon and uh, there's just the uh, location in uh, central uh, Mexico there giving you an idea of where it's located let's uh, take a look at what they say here the uh, explosive eruption at the volcano continues according to the uh, uh, volcanic ash advisory in Washington uh, spewed a gray ash columns uh, that rose to 20 to 21 thousand feet or 6400 uh, 61 to 6400 meters height and uh, dis, uh, dis, uh, dissipated uh, towards the uh, south west uh, over the past a few days uh, additional uh, 20 minutes of high frequency amplitude a uh, volcanic uh, tremor had been uh, recorded on the 28th so uh, we'll likely see some more activity uh, the crater of the uh, volcano remains uh, closed uh, for climbing as the risk of uh, being caught in a sudden explosive uh, explosion is a uh, very high the alert status um, uh, remains at level two people are advised to avoid uh, the crater within uh, 12 kilometer radius additionally uh, the warning bulletin stays uh, that uh, states that the lahars mud flows uh, will occur if heavy rainfall uh, remobilizes a uh, fresh asphalt deposits so uh, there is your Popo Kati Petal report as well. And uh, let's see, where else uh, can we go from here? Uh, double check, and uh, is uh, there an ice cream boat? No, still no ice cream boat. What is going on? I'm going to get frustrated. I need an ice cream boat. All right, um, hmm. I don't know what we can do about that. Let's send the protest to the Japanese ferry service. We need more frequent ice cream boats. Temps will get around um, uh, about 30 degrees a lower next weekend, Henry. A great temp to take a nap uh, in the stand. Oh, napping in the stand. Oh, why don't you nap in the lay down? That's better. <laughs> ah, more comfy. All right, never mind. I'm just being smart. Let's uh, take a look at our earthquakes around the world. And uh, let's see if I can get on the right map here. Satellite view. There we go. And uh, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, searching for the ice cream boat. Yeah, we'll uh, keep an eye on it out there, Sue, if uh, one happens to show up. Nothing up here in uh, the uh, Camp Chutka Peninsula, and it looks like most of the Aleutian Islands are a little quieter. We do have a, a 3.2, uh, 201 kilometers south of uh, Perryville, Alaska from 1846 yesterday. That's uh, 10 kilometers down. Nothing new until we get down here. Now this is a little bit more interesting and anyone in our uh, Ferndale area or Eureka would have uh, felt it. Uh, this is a 4.7 and that was from today at 9.26 a.m., uh, 17.9 kilometers down for that one. Then offshore, just a slight, a little bit less or later, and that one was 4.2 aftershock, 11.16, 29.1 uh, kilometers down, and then a 2.1 from 11.25, uh, 30 clicks down, and a 2.0, uh, 28.9 clicks down all about the same depth and then when we go out we see another one out here a 3.7 and i don't think anybody would have felt that one too far away from the coastline 10 36 a.m and uh, 10 kilometers down but i am sure uh, that uh, the people of ferndale and eureka over here would have felt that 4.7 that would have affected that whole area in here so and definitely something to uh, consider and know there was no tsunami I checked earlier and don't need to and uh, continuing on down the coastline here looking for other quakes we don't see anything till we get down to I guess a Chile and uh, that's a 4.4 4 from 1528 uh, 171.4 kilometers down 
then we got a couple over here in the Argentinian uh, region uh, or border region uh, between Chile and Argentina 4.5 from a 2314 yesterday 195.1 kilometers down the other one is a 4.4 and that is in Argentina from a 1921 yesterday 230.8 kilometers down this is off the coast of Chile we got a 4.2 11:53 a.m. at 27.9 kilometers down, and this one a 4.3 from 11:44, 16.3 clicks down for that guy. Seeing another one out here in the South Sandwich Islands, 5.2 in magnitude from a 16:36 yesterday, 20, uh, 35 kilometers down. A uh, quick peek at uh, the uh, central portions of um, the uh, Pacific. We don't see anything major. Uh, we uh, do see this guy over here, and uh, that is a 5.8 um, Macquire Island, if I said it right. Anyway, 1831 uh, yesterday, and nothing uh, uh, nothing weird there. And that keeps going. Nothing new in uh, New Zealand. And then we go all the way over here, 4.8, and that is in uh, Tonga. Um, four. Uh, yeah, 4.8 and 4.08 this morning, 4.08 a.m. Uh, 10 kilometers down, another one in Tonga, a 4.6 from a 13.14, 107.5 kilometers down. This one in Vanuatu or Loyalty Island region, uh, 4.9 from a 10 kilometers, no, 10 minutes after midnight and 85.5 kilometers down. Nothing new or big out there and... Uh, Vanuatu and they're probably resting easy we do see this one over here uh, Sermon Indonesia and uh, that is uh, from a uh, 10 16 a.m. and uh, that is 10 kilometers down for that guy grab the other one while we're here 4.4 uh, uh, Ternate area of Indonesia from yesterday at 2007 uh, 42.7 kilometers down uh, Mac Kwai Erri Macquarie, 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 okay, Macquarie, I'm just not good with those Mac names, Macquarie, anyway, I'm off of the coast of uh, Java, and we uh, see a 4.9, uh, 33 minutes after midnight, uh, 10 kilometers down, Susie, welcome, and uh, that's all good, uh, moving up a little bit, uh, don't see anything um, there on the uh, southern end until we get up into the uh, Japanese islands. Izu Island region here, uh, 4.5, 11, uh, 41, 10 kilometers down for that one. And uh, let's see, um, Japan, 4.4, Yamada, uh, Japan, and uh, that's from a uh, 1209, uh, 25.9 kilometers down uh, from today. And the uh, northern end here, we got another 4.4 from yesterday at 2107. And uh, I'm not even going to try uh, pronouncing that name. Uh, but uh, that is in Japan as well. Nothing else in the Corral Islands. We'll leave that be. Going to zoom out. Just uh, check the Indian Ocean. Don't see anything else down there. Uh, going over here, uh, we see a 4.2 in Afghanistan from uh, 230. Uh, this morning, uh, 211.7 kilometers down. And, of course, uh, the one that I told you about uh, where uh, uh, Piggy felt it. And the Piggy is here in Kos. Okay, and she's about there on the island. That is where that quake happened. And that is not very far away. It's a 4.1. And uh, that's a, a 3.38 a this morning. Uh, UTC hour, well, that's our time, 3.38. But uh, it was already, uh, well, she's eight hours later, or nine hours, ten hours later. So um, that's like around noonish or so, a little later than that. Anyway, 9.2 kilometers down and uh, distance wise. So um, I figured it's roughly uh, about 12 or 13 kilometers away from Piggy. And if uh, she is here, uh, close to the airport, uh, there's the airport. So uh, from here to the quake, that's about that distance. And uh, that is actually right on land. 
So if um, these people living here, or I don't know what's over here, uh, they definitely would have felt that, a 4.1. Uh, Piggy did feel the 4.1, so a little bit of shaking going on at uh, Piggy's house. Oh boy. Anyway, let's uh, zoom out. Uh, a couple more quakes here that uh, I uh, thought was a little bit weird. Uh, 4.0 Morocco at uh, 2.04 a.m. our time and 18.6 kilometers down for that one. And then up here in northern Spain, uh, 4.0 from uh, 6.46 uh, uh, our time, 10 kilometers down. So uh, very, very interesting to see those quakes. Um, I don't know why we're getting quakes out there, but hey, we've got some movement obviously in the um, the plates or in uh, I don't know that is definitely kind of a weird. This one is is an odd one uh, for me. Uh, Morocco, I can understand uh, because uh, you have uh, stuff moving here and you have some fissures underneath there, but on this one, I don't think there's that much action happening there. It's just like up here in, in uh, Poland. You don't expect to see the quakes, but hey, they happen. Anyway, that's uh, those quakes. Let's uh, take a quick uh, peek at Hawaii. And uh, there's uh, not that many there. I will uh, just uh, check them out. We got this one above uh, Kilauea. Uh, 2.3 from 11 to 20 today. 10.6 kilometers down. And uh, the other ones here in uh, Pahala. So we'll go through them really quickly. Uh, 3.2, a little bit bigger, that's from yesterday, 2042, and uh, 29.8 kilometers down. This one, a 1 1.9 from 1645, uh, from uh, 26 clicks down, uh, 2.0 uh, from uh, 917, and uh, that's a uh, 30.2 kilometers down. And then we've got a uh, 1.8, 1252, uh, 30.2 kilometers down, a uh, 2.2 from uh, 1917 yesterday. 30 kilometers down this one next one is a 1.9 1153 today 31.1 uh, kilometers down a uh, 1.9 and uh, that's uh, uh, 903 a.m. hundred uh, sorry uh, 31.6 kilometers down uh, 2.4 from uh, 10 11 and that's a uh, 30.3 kilometers down and a uh, 1.8 from 1917 and that is uh, uh, yesterday's at uh, 29.3 uh, kilometers down. So that's your earthquakes for Hawaii as well. Not really all that much happening there. And uh, African uh, plate uh, pushing uh, up from Africa uh, to uh, Spain or Italy. Um, yeah, but uh, that plate is also pushing downward. Uh, the uh, Eurasian plate is pushing downward uh, there, Tanto. So um that's um, a little bit of a both anyway it is time for a break and you're right sue uh top of the hour it is and let's uh, get you back on the uh, wonderful canned lava and uh, i am going to go take a break so for those good people who are here if you haven't yet hit that like button give it a quick bump also if you haven't subscribed you if you're sitting on the outside uh, lurking peeking in give that subscribe button a quick bump Help us out and grow the channel on that friendly note. We'll leave our, our wonderful archive the footage of Rebbe in Iceland uh, on the screen for the duration of the break. When we come back, we will do our um, SO2. That's what we're going to do. And uh, don't go away. Keep smiling. Be nice. And don't go wandering on the uh, lava fields there. That is going to hurt and end up badly for you. Here's some music. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back.
we go. That microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you're watching Volcano X live stream, our Saturday edition, which starts three hours earlier than normal. <laughs> uh, then, uh, I, well, I shouldn't say normal. That is normal. Four earthquakes and this morning between, uh, yep, uh, 8.30 and 10.30 uh, along the Humboldt subduction zone. Uh, yep, uh, my thoughts, possible foreshocks of, uh, to a bigger event and a possible uh, harbinger. harbinger. Um, yeah, you know, it, it could be, it could be uh, there, uh, Jane. And uh, we did cover that uh, just a few minutes ago as well. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for the welcome backs from uh, Tanto and uh, Mars and Sue and Kevin and uh, King uh, Colin. And uh, I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. From uh, Jane, or no, not Jane, uh, from uh, Sharon. Uh, that's it, Sharon Stewart. I was um, just uh, trying to do too many things at once here. <laughs> anyway, uh, lovely uh, rubby uh, lava coming up there, and we'll uh, park that lava, freeze it in its tracks. Let's get over to our SO2, and uh, we'll uh, go have a look at that, and uh, we'll uh, see what we've got going on. So I uh, just refreshed it. I was trying to see what we've got happening and uh, most of this stuff is now um, kind of broken up and uh, getting out of the Pacific getting on to North America mostly in Canada and uh, yep I'm definitely making a mess of uh, what we see here going all the way uh, pretty much all the way across including most of Alaska as well so uh, very interesting to see that uh, down in the south, we uh, don't see that much going on. Still seeing a bunch of uh, remnant stuff from who knows where. And uh, that is always interesting. But at least we know this stuff here that we're seeing is mostly from uh, the uh, Shisheldon uh, stuff. And uh, the Hawaiian stuff has already dissipated. So let's get at it. A Kamchatka Peninsula. Uh, up here, uh, Shivalish uh, doing its thing, and uh, we have uh, Bezimiani and uh, Klyushevskoy, as well as uh, Korimsky and uh, Matnovsky and Ibiko uh, down here on its own little island. And um, let's uh, keep uh, going here, taking a look at what we've got. This spot here, Shisheldon Volcano, is uh, likely producing that SO2. Not sure what the rest of it is from, if that's still left over and just getting blown around. But um, the levels, as I mentioned, very high. I'm on a ferry and we'll be putting a uh, uh, ball, ball bussing uh, behind a, a bull a walk. Uh, it drives the crew insane. Okay, uh, all right, Irish monk, uh, you uh, just uh, be careful doing that and don't break a leg doing it. Anyway, looking at um, northern uh, areas here, we see that going all the way up into the uh, Arctic area here of Canada, uh, making a mess and uh, lots of SO2 for everyone. So Alaska and Yukon and Northwest Territories and none of it who probably want none of it and then looking at what we've got in british columbia very high levels in most places edmonton not quite as bad as um, yesterday but still fairly uh, nasty uh, saskatchewan is also feeling some uh, remnants of uh, that as well as uh, manitoba and northern ontario and uh, then we see a little bit of a, a blue around the Great Lakes, which is really nice, and that a whole streak goes up into um, Quebec here, but um, well, it's going to be short-lived. I think and this is going to move uh, through there and end up getting out and back into uh, the uh, Davies Strait and heading uh, south. Um, not so bad in the eastern portions of Canada. We are still seeing uh, some higher levels than uh, normal, but um, at least 
they're not that bad so uh, that is all good eastern u.s uh, a lot better than what it was yesterday so uh starting to look better i think uh, the rain of course that continues to fall and i did look at some of the flooding that was happening in new york just crazy there with the amount of water they got going back over to the uh, west coast uh, looks like uh, pretty much washington and oregon are really heavy uh, i'm surprised california has not got more so2 sitting on top of it same as uh, nevada uh, looks like arizona does so and uh, new mexico it starts to uh, clear up texas almost uh, clear and uh, not so much coming from popo cante pedal and uh, mexico city but we see they still have that remnant stuff all the way out here uh, towards Hawaii, and that's what that's from. And looking at Central America, we do see a lot of that is off gassing here. Irish Monk, uh, free the ball bearings. Free the ball bearings. And where are oh, they going to be rolling around? Uh, Irish Monk, Irish Monk. Monk. I'm writing that down. Uh, thank you very kindly for that wonderful super chat, Irish Monk. And that is awesome. And uh, we will uh, certainly uh, see if we can uh, let the uh, marbles roll. And uh, that is an awesome super chat. Thank you very kindly. Um, uh, looking at Central America, yeah, we see most of it going into the Pacific, but we do have that extra stuff that the wind carried and I think most of that was from Nevada del Ruz uh, going out into the Caribbean and uh, that should be okay though and uh, since the seven Kai has been busy we see a larger plume going all the way across our uh, Bolivia and Paraguay and then uh, getting all the way into the Atlantic Ocean as uh, sliding down uh, not so bad in the um, Argentinian area or Uruguay that actually looks uh, pretty good right now and uh, most of uh, uh, Chile here uh, almost down to normal uh, from uh, what we see and uh, nothing coming out of um, well not much of uh, this little streamer here that's from Michael Volcano South Sandwich Islands and uh, moving over we don't see anything new coming from uh, we need to be up a little bit more. New coming from uh, Easter Island, and I don't see anything there. Let's uh, go over here, uh, New Zealand, with this remnant stuff from where it's coming from. Hard to tell what's going on there at White Isle Volcano. And looks like hardly anything from uh, the refinery in Melbourne. Uh, this uh, plume here, likely from uh, the uh, coking plants north of uh, Sydney and uh, Tofua doing its thing and uh, not so heavy today Yasur still in it and uh, doing its thing Gawa, Eoba still working away and of course our uh, uh, what is it that's uh, uh, Ulaun, Ulaun and um, um, Manam over here I think or well, whatever it's called something like that and Lua Talak is still uh, doing its thing and I'm going over at uh, Semeru uh, definitely off gassing there we are still seeing uh, uh, stuff coming up from uh, our wonderful Murrapi and uh, then uh, looking over here Jakarta definitely still uh, throwing out a lot of SO2 unable to tell if that is coming from a Krakatau or if it's all a Jakarta or a combination thereof uh, Dempo, un, unable to see it, so I'm not going to comment on it. And uh, Marapi and Currency, uh, making that lighter plume today. And uh, not as heavy uh, coming from uh, uh, Sinabung either in uh, that northern region of uh, Sumatra. And looking here, uh, maybe uh, so uh, my son uh, took that ferry on a sixth grade a field trip from IRL to France, uh, from Ireland to France. Ooh, uh, that would be uh, cool. Ibu and Dakono still doing their thing. And then of course we get over here and we know Mayon is still working away. And we are seeing some extra SO2 here and I don't know if that's leftover stuff from something or do we have something else going on. And, of course, to all volcano in here. Manila, right in there. 
So uh, lots of uh, SO2 being uh, generated uh, there uh, in that area. Also seeing the uh, volcanic islands here still off-gassing, as well as uh, the industrial stuff in Taiwan. And uh, not seeing so much from Suwanosijima, even though it was erupting. Sakurajima, on the other hand, has uh, quite a bit of SO2, and uh, his uh, buddies out here in the water as well. And uh, not seeing so much from ASO today, and it's uh, still putting out, but not quite as heavily. And uh, Tokyo looks uh, pretty bare, and uh, very minimal amounts coming from Asama. So uh, that is okay. And uh, this stuff here, I, I think, is uh, the stuff that came from uh, around here and drifted to the uh, northeast and will likely uh, get dis dissipated if uh, it ends up getting some rain clouds there. And I'm sure it's going to end up having to go through some system and end up uh, being washed out. Um, not so bad in Shanghai today. Hong Kong looks uh, pretty normal too. Uh, Eastern India uh, still uh, very heavy. Uh, all of India and uh, about half of Pakistan looking uh, pretty uh, heavy uh, level-wise too. Uh, Sri Lanka not so bad. And uh, looking uh, down here, we see a lot of SO2 around Reunion Island. And uh, maybe we've got uh, more eruptive activity happening at um, our uh, wonderful uh, Piton de la Formes in uh, Reunion Island. Uh, South Africa, gold smelting plants doing their thing. And of course, uh, here in uh, the Republic of uh, the Congo, we've got no, uh, Nyamura Gira and Nira Gongo, uh, Goma 1 and 2, doing uh, their stuff. And uh, Urta Ale will be in here, and it is uh, definitely showing up. Uh, good evening, John Raper. Uh, oh, are you going to bed? Good night, guys. Bedtime. All right, John, uh, take care. Sleep well. All the best to you. Uh, looking at Saudi Arabia, we've got uh, some heavy areas there from uh, the oil refineries, same with uh, Kuwait, Iraq, and Iran. Uh, some of uh, the Iranian stuff not quite as visible, but it is there. And as well as uh, here, you can see the areas in, in Iraq. And uh, not so heavy uh, from um, Beirut today uh, or uh, Cairo. And we are still seeing uh, the uh, stuff from Mount Etna. We'll get to that in a minute. And um, looking at uh, our uh, western portions of uh, Chile, uh, we uh, do see quite a bit there. Not so bad for a uh, cost today. Hopefully it'll uh, stay a little bit easier uh, breathing uh, for them. And uh, then uh, here from uh, Mount Etna, we are seeing that heading uh, southward, getting into Libya again. And of course, that is also coming from a Stromboli. <coughs> and uh, Stromboli has uh, normal outputs uh, as of late as well. And uh, looking at uh, not bad in uh, Spain or Portugal or France getting into uh, Germany though, we start to see the levels up a little bit. Uh, same goes for uh, Holland and uh, Denmark. And then we uh, take a look at England a little bit there, Wales not that bad. And we get up into the uh, top of uh, Scotland here. We see uh, fairly heavy levels. And looks like uh, Ireland may be in for some heavy levels as this uh, system passes through here. So, Irish monk, make sure you get your mask on. Uh, you're going to have some SO2 coming through there, my friend. And uh, looking at uh, Norway, uh, Sweden. Uh, uh, Finland looks clean. Uh, but Norway and Sweden on the bottom halves here have uh, fairly heavy levels. And then Iceland is getting some circulation uh, from uh, the other stuff here. And it's uh, getting SO2 back to them. Hopefully uh, that will clear up. There's more to come here though because of this uh, circulating stuff will bring it down uh, through here. We'll see uh, the uh, stuff from uh, Greenland go over here. We'll blame Greenland for it. <laughs> no, it's not, not from Greenland. It's actually from... Uh, as uh, Sheldon and uh, that's where all that is going so uh, pretty uh, neat to be able to see that and uh, let's see uh, what else we got on the go here uh, let's uh, pop over and take a quick look at uh, what we got uh, with uh, storms 
So, yeah, um, what is it? Rina or Rina is uh, still there, gaining strength. Uh, Felipe, I don't know. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't gone up or down. It really hasn't moved much. And we uh, do see some heavy circulation uh, right there off of uh, New York. We have that big circulation here out in the Atlantic, the driving uh, forces. And if we uh, go over uh, this Koinu over here by uh, the Philippines, is uh, causing some havoc for them. Let's take a look at the satellite views here and get an idea of a uh, cloud cover. And we see up here in the Aleutian, or uh, the, uh, I guess, Alaskan Peninsula, uh, we uh, do see that. Um, quite a bit of uh, circulation there. Uh, so they've got some bad weather coming across. Looks like a double low. And that's going to head in uh, to um, the uh, North American continent. Uh, looks like uh, here in Alberta we are getting some mixed stuff and uh, looks like uh, they've got a circulating uh, area here uh, down in Montana likely uh, going to see some uh, storm activity there big uh, system sitting on uh, top of uh, top end of Hudson's Bay yet um, and of course we uh, look at this one here that's the one that brought all that rain to uh, New York and the Boston area and all that. Uh, hopefully uh, those guys will dry out a little bit. The rest of uh, the U.S. looks not bad. Uh, down in Florida, they've got a little bit more uh, cloud. And uh, the uh, western portions here are quite a bit of a cloud through the mountains. And uh, that is not unusual, I guess. Uh, Central America, we uh, don't see too much. And uh, Felipe is uh, starting to pack that cloud in. And uh, Rina, uh, not uh, or Rina, uh, not as heavy today. I think uh, Felipe is uh, stealing uh, some of that uh, energy from uh, that uh, storm. I'm still not sure where that's going to go because looking at that, that's going to end up heading in in here into the uh, southern portions of the Caribbeans. And not sure if that's going to end up going this way and then curling up. We'll see what happens in uh, the future. And everything else uh, looks uh, pretty normal. Um, yeah, this one here, a fairly big storm, definitely affecting the Philippines. And um, again, not sure where that storm is going to go because it has both upward push and downward push. It may pop out here into the uh, Pacific more. We'll see what happens in the future. All right, uh, let's uh, go uh, put it back on temperature here for a minute, and uh, we'll find ourselves our coldest uh, temperature on the planet uh, very quickly, and uh, I'm sure we'll find something that is unbearable uh, for people. Uh, so far, minus 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, there's a minus 71, minus 72, and uh, we uh, don't see anything uh, colder right there. Let's uh, just scan around a little bit and see if we can spot anything uh, colder. Uh, 70, we got a 70 there as well. So around that low seems to be uh, <clears throat> some uh, low temps. I'm not seeing uh, too much. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sue says she's got minus 73 degrees uh, there in uh, Antarctica and we'll see if I can uh, spot that minus 65 uh, 66 67 and uh, there's uh, the 70 71 and uh, we had another uh, 71 uh, right there if we uh, zoom in uh, there's a 72 oh I, I thought I seen that, that three in here minus a 73 where are you I seen you just a four a second. Uh, 69. Let's see. 67, 66. There's another a minus a 70 in here. 71. I have found minus 72, but I haven't found a minus 73 yet. And uh, there it is. There it is. I, I seen it. It's right there. Minus 73 degrees Celsius. I knew I had it earlier. Darn it. So uh, there you go. Minus 73 degrees Celsius. And that ties it up with uh, Sue. 
and uh, that is all good. So I'm happy. It's a tie. Yep, you bet, Sue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our uh, weather and our show for today. Uh, we'll uh, turn that back on to the uh, canned lava. And, of course, we're showing a uh, Rebbe. And uh, Rebbe is always nice to uh, uh, watch and uh, toast your marshmallows over top of. And uh, we uh, like it. Uh, Irish man, man is uh, Irish being a gentleman. Uh, Grandma B, I am I'm busy uh, looking at young, uh, what a very a young, very attractive uh, Polish crew. Um, mm, okay, Irish monk. Uh, just don't be breaking any legs or anything, okay? Good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Dr. Fox uh, from Atanto. Thank you, Atanto. Uh, yeah, um, Mars. They'll make him walk the plank. He doesn't realize that yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, made it uh, to the end uh, tonight. A big love, love, a love. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome, uh, King Colin. And uh, uh, good uh, that you made it that far. And uh, good night uh, to you as well. And uh, Tantro, of course, who's leaving. And uh, enjoy uh, your sleep, your slumber, and all that nice stuff. Anyway, uh, that's it for our show for today, ladies and gentlemen. And for those who are here, thank you all for being here. We really do appreciate that. And uh, a big uh, thank you to our uh, moderators, Arizona Snowman, and Piggy, and Sue, and uh, CND Boy, and Yvonne Kunkel, and uh, Gary247 Live, AZ Skies. Did I say Siggy? I think I did. Okay, and uh, the rest. Uh, there's uh, more. And uh, also a big uh, thank you to our gift givers and super chatters. Uh, thank you, Sharon Stewart. For gifting that 10 pack of memberships uh, that was awesome and uh, well appreciated and by uh, all those uh, 10 people that got the gifts I'm sure and thank you Irish monk uh, for uh, gifting uh, that or uh, uh, throwing in that wonderful super chat and that was a uh, very kind of you as well so on those uh, friendly notes uh, thank you everyone uh, be good, uh, be kind, and please remember tomorrow is Sunday and we will have um, another early start to the show. Uh, right, Grandma B? Uh, 4 p.m. <laughs> I know, you get used to the uh, weekday stuff and when you're retired you don't realize it's the weekend, right? It's okay, uh, Grandma B. We uh, will uh, let you slide this time. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, anyway, uh, be good, you guys, and take care of yourselves. Stay uh, smiling and stay kind. And, of course, uh, be uh, be good in, in general. On those friendly notes, only one thing left to add. Please, uh, please, tell your loved ones that you love them tonight. For tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Take care, a good night, and oink, oink.
Um, 